It's okay, Mama. We are gonna lay you down now. Just, just look at the sky. Look how pretty it is. Isn't it pretty, Mama? <laughs> pretty, my boy. It doesn't even begin to describe it. Oh, Mama. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Besides the day you were born, of course. I told you that story, correct? Many, many times. But I would love to hear it again. It was a few years before the great change, and just a few weeks before we found a lark in his pack. Your father and I were living in this little den we made ourselves. We made it in the inside of a hill. It was miles of green fields as far as you could see in either direction. The sky was always blue, except for the mornings or evenings when the sun would rise and fall. An orange that was so beautiful, you thought you may have died and arrived in heaven. Kind of like the sky now, huh, Mama? Yes, just like now. Do you remember when I told you how animals used to be able to have multiple pups all at once? A litter is what they used to call them. But after they changed our genetic makeup, we usually only could have one pup at a time, just like the humans used to, but they called theirs babies. Yes, I remember. Well, I always told your father that I wanted 20 pups. He looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> but I always told him that my first pup would be a boy. I just knew it. I also knew I would be expecting you at any day, and your father didn't leave my side unless she's to get food or water. And once it got closer to the due date, he stocked up on food so he wouldn't have to leave my side at all. <coughs> as soon as you were born, I looked you clean, and you didn't whine. You just sat there, your eyes closed and unmoving. I almost thought you were dead, but then I saw your chest rise and fall. And at that moment, I realized that all the sunsets in the world would never compare to the beauty I had just witnessed. I let you feed, and I just couldn't take my eyes off of you. Your father kept looking at you and, and at me. He kept asking what we should name you. He offered up all these silly names, but I told him no, no, no. And then he said, what about Dakota? It means a friend. I thought what a perfect name for the perfect boy. Dakota, I repeated looking at you. Dakota. I love that story, Mama. Me too. <laughs> Are you okay, Mama? I'm just... <laughs> just... Here, let me see your wounds. How is it? Fine, Mama. Just fine. Good. The faster I get better, the sooner I can make Kent his special dinner to say I'm sorry for missing the lighting ceremony. How was it, Dakota? Was it beautiful? Oh, they were so pretty, Mama. They lit up the entire night sky. And Kent, he said you didn't have to make him any food. He said getting better is enough. He wanted to tell you himself, but... He's off somewhere else right now. What a sweet boy. <laughs> do, do you want to sleep now, Mama? Oh, I couldn't. Not when you're here to talk to. Well, how about I tell you a story and 
You try to get some rest for me, Mama. And, and look at the sky. The sunrise. Did you know that sunrises, they're a sign for new beginnings? Mama, rest, please. Oh, fine, Dakota. <laughs> Only because I love you. I love you too, Mama. There once was a place where all animals and humans lived in harmony. There was no violence, no fighting, no wars. There was only peace, happiness, and love. There once was this one wolf. Her name was Alma, and her husband was Urea. They lived in this perfect little den they made themselves up, up in a hill, and they watched the sunrise and sunset every single day together. Then, once their son was born, they all watched it together. It was just them. And, and you know what, Mama? It was all that boy ever would have needed. It was perfect. And you want to know why, Mama? with his family. <laughs> Where are you playing at? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. It's just, you remind me so much of someone. <sighs> My brother? No, no, not him. Then who? Later. First, we are going to play a little game where I, uh, shoot you and we see what happens. And why would I want to play this game? Because it's fun. Well, for me anyway. I'm not playing. You really don't have a choice. I will cooperate. I'll tell you whatever you desire. If, if only you let me see Arona. Arona, huh? You love her, do you? You know nothing of love. You're only but a monster. And no one, no one could ever love a monster. You people and monsters, for dog's sakes. And for your information, I know plenty about... Love. I don't believe anyone could have loved you. We are not here to talk about me. We are here to play a game. Now, what were you saying? You wanted to see a Rona, and you will answer any question I ask? Yes. Deal. What happened? Did, didn't you shoot me? Oh, you, you, you! Oh, I just love you! Oh, you are brilliant, fantastic you! Uh, can, can I see Rona now? Oh, but of course you can. Bring her in! Get in there. Oh, hello, pretty. <laughs> Don't touch her. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. 
I'll just do this instead. <laughs> now this game is getting fun. Here, it's your turn, Kent. I'm going to let you out of this chair and you can either save her or... I will let you leave this place and I swear I will let you go. You will be free, but you'll have to leave your precious Arona to die. But if you try to cheat, I will catch you in the act. It's your turn. Make your move. Arona! Kent, save me. I will. I promise. This is so sweet, but it's time for your pretty little Arona to go now. Too bad. So sad. You can't hurt me. No, no, I guess I can't, but that drug I injected you with when I was undoing your restraints should be kicking in right about now. Kent? 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 Kent, no, Kent! Kent, please stay with me, Kent! 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 Uh, sir, um, I, I was just wondering, um, I was watching through the window, and I was just wondering, how, how did you know he was going to choose her, sir? Because it's what any man in love would have done. It's, it's what I would have done. You're working with him, that monster. He hurt her. He tried to kill her. He knew she would be fine. It, it was only for the sake of the rest of the world. Verlaya, he shot her. He is messing with me, with, with her, with you. Verlaya. Don't call me that. My name is Leia now, and Mr. Black is a good man. He gave me this job when no one else would. I was an outcast and no one wanted me. But he took me in, paid for my training and education. He is like a father. Ralea! Don't call me that, please! Right. I shouldn't call you that, because that little girl I used to know is dead. She died that moment she betrayed her friends, her family, her real father. Stop, please, just, just stop! Do you know what happened to your parents after you left? Your mother died of grief. And your father, he went missing. And a few weeks later, we found him at the wall. He had been electrocuted to death. Everyone said right before he died, he wanted to find you. He never did, obviously, but he died trying. Those two right there were your parents. And what happened to them was your fault. Please. And this. Right here, white rooms and monsters is what you traded their lives for? Nothing to say now, huh? I just thought... I thought... I thought I could have used their new technology, maybe even create some and heal people faster and easier. So how is that working out for you? Save any lives yet? Because you've already killed two. And it looks like you're trying to kill me as well. You don't understand. You've never understood me. That's why I couldn't tell you I was leaving. Oh, so now you want to talk about our past? No, I, I just... I just want to be your nurse. Can't you let me do that? Can't you just let me help you? I really don't want your help anymore, Leia. Okay. 
but it's not my choice and it's not yours either. So I guess I'm stuck helping you, whether either of us like it or not. You are just as bad as that monster you call father. No, we are not bad. We are good. We were only trying to save everyone, if only for a little bit longer. From what? From the inevitable. What? But who knew my childhood best friend would be the one to save us all and not me. What are you? You are going to go to sleep now. I need to transport you to a different room so we can run some experiments. I'll see you soon, Kent. <laughs> Where's the rest of the pack? I, I want to go see if I can help anyone. They're beginning to get settled up in the caves. Thanks. Dakota, where's Alma? She's... Hello. Lovely to see you again. What's, what, what, what's, what's going on? And Where's Arona? Don't worry about her. You have more important things to worry about. We are just about ready to experiment on you, but no big deal. It won't hurt a bit. I promise. There won't even be a scar. No, no, no. Uh, you, you, you can't. Talk to... R uh, talk to Leia. Uh... Talk to her. She, she'll stop this. Oh no, she approved of this. Insisted, actually, in the name of saving the world and all. Oh. Yes. So just close your eyes. And think lovely thoughts.